You know what? Honestly, I did my makeup very mediocrely for you. Mediocrely? I did very mediocre makeup for you guys today, so you should feel honored. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Rookie, and welcome to my channel, where I do basically whatever I want. And today, I want to talk about pens. <laughs> I want to talk about the one thing that I talk about way too much in my day-to-day -day life that I want to put somewhere else um, so I don't have to keep bothering my friends with it. Pens! I want to talk about pens because I own too many of them and I like them too much and I know more about them than any individual has the right to know about pens. But today I have decided that we are going to talk about my I won't say my favorite pen, because I don't have a favorite, but we're going to talk about one of my top three pens currently, and we're going to talk about the two different versions of it that I have. Uh, I just wanted to get two diff very different kinds to try and get some variety, <laughs> because I love this pen so much. And it is the Uniball Jetstream. <laughs> This is the first version, and then let me give you a look at the second one. I have at least a couple other pens that I could easily talk about, like the Zebra F701, which is, as of right now, the most expensive pen in my collection, and honestly worth every penny. And then my other big favorite right now is the Uniball Signo 207 Micro Pen. I'm not usually big on the Signo 207s, uh, but the Micro is fantastic. I will make a separate video just about these at some point, I am sure. <laughs> it would probably be about just all the pens in the Uniball Signo series, because I own a variety of different kinds, and I think that the differences in each of them are worth discussing for sure. But the star of today is this little family of pens right here. So they're both Uniball Jetstreams. They're both different kinds. Uh, the difference is that you can tell is one is retractable and this one is capped. But there are a couple extra differences aside from that. First of all, there, there are different nib sizes. This one is a 1.0 like a bolder style, and this one is a 0.7, which is a bit more of a standard writing style. Although to be honest, the Uniball jet streams tend to write thinner anyway, for reasons that is actually the reason that I really, really like these pens that I'll get into in a minute. But the first thing that I want to talk about with these is the design. Now let's talk about the retractable versions first. I got the ones that have the blue barrel, just because I thought that was a little different. Although I do want to get the ones with the black barrel as well, just because they looked like a lot more sleek. Then this did. Between the two of these pens, I absolutely prefer the capped version, especially in design. I mean, look at this really nice grip system it's got here with the little see-through things in the middle and the little dots on the grip. It's just very, very sleek. Plus the cap itself has like a really nice curve to it that's continuous throughout the whole thing. I just really like the design of the capped ones more, but I am also much more of a capped pen person than a retractable pen person, although I know I am definitely in the minority on that opinion. Like there are a lot of things about the retractable version of the Uniball Jetstream that resemble the capped design, especially the things that I really like about the capped design in the retractable one. Um, like for example, it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but the clicker at the top has little grooves in it just like the bottom of the cap version does. And it also has a similar grip with the little dot indentations and the see-through bits. And then of course this um, also has the grooves in it similar to the capped version. But honestly, the biggest thing that makes such a difference in these pens that makes them my absolute favorite is the way that they write. The entire way that Uniball advertised these pens, the whole gimmick behind them is how fast they write, how smooth they are on the paper, how easily they can keep up with your thoughts if you're a fast thinker like I am. And honestly, it's so true. These are probably the fastest pens I have ever written with that aren't like 
super micro tips. I'm talking like 0.3 size tips. And these are like normal size tip pens. Even though, like I said, they do write a bit thinner than what their sizes would normally be, the tip sizes for pens are already not really standardized, so honestly, I'm not really upset by it at all. So first, I'm going to show you the difference between the two nib sizes with the different black colors, and then I'm going to show you colors, because unfortunately I've been having a difficult time trying to find colored versions of the capped pens, which tends to be an issue that I come across a lot because everyone likes retractable pens more, which is respectable, but I like the aesthetic of them more. I'm going to try and write as neatly as possible, try and illustrate the quality of the ink and not necessarily my bad handwriting. <laughs> so we first got the capped version, and then we're gonna go in with the retractable and show you the difference between those. I will say that the difference is not terribly noticeable, but if you're a pen snob like me, then it makes a pretty big difference. So at the top, we've got the cap version, the one that is the 1.0, and underneath that, we have the retractable, which is the 0.7. And upon a first look, they probably don't look that much different, but there is a slight difference in the size. You can tell that the retractable one does draw with a slightly thinner line. So next, let's go through the three standard colors. I mean, most pens come in these three colors, so when I'm trying out a new pen, I try to get a three pack of these if I can. And so first, we're gonna do the black again, just to give you something to work off of. Then we're gonna go in with the blue. <laughs> and finally, we're gonna go in with the red. So unfortunately, this is my uh, phone camera, so you can't see the colors as well as you would be able to with a better camera or obviously in real life, but the colors are pretty good on these. They're not my favorite color, but that's just because they write thinner than a pen with better colors might, and because as much as I like the thinner pens more, the ones that have a larger tip will actually write more vibrantly. So the Uniball Jetstreams do fall victim to something that I find happening a lot with thinner tipped pens, that the red kind of looks more orangey, especially under the wrong kind of lighting. But honestly, the blue is really nice, and the red honestly does look better in real life than it does on my phone camera. And then of course, we have our lovely standard black ink that looks absolutely wonderful, in my opinion. So yeah, um, at the moment, that is what I have to say about the Uniball Jetstream pens. Hopefully I will get a more proper setup at some point and I'll be able to do a much more thorough review of these. This is literally my kitchen light that I had to position myself at my table under, but for the time being, I highly, highly recommend these pens. And honestly, for the quality of pens that they are, the price isn't as bad as you would expect. Um, if you're a pen snob like me, you are more than willing to shell out a bit more money than most people would be willing to for good pens. So for a three pack of pens, I expect to pay about eight to ten dollars for them, which is honestly about how much these cost. These were the first ones that I bought, uh, and, and what honestly got me hooked on the Uniball Jetstream pens. And I got a four pack of these for about ten or eleven dollars, so that was really nice. And then I got these, I believe, for nine or ten dollars. So. It's more expensive than if you were to buy a 36 box of Bic pens or if you bought like a like a 10 pack of Pentels. But honestly, if you want a really smooth writing that can actually keep up with your thoughts, which is honestly the biggest drawback to writing things longhand for me anymore, I definitely highly recommend the Uniball Jet Streams. I could talk about these things for days, but I don't really have the proper equipment to be able to do that now, so hopefully when I do, I will revisit these pens and we will have more in-depth illustrations of their abilities. So I hope that this was helpful for all of you guys out there. If there are any other pens that you want me to review or any recommendations that you would like, if there's a specific situation that you need a pen for but you're not really sure what kind you should get or perhaps if you have more specific preferences as far as pens go and want recommendations for things that would fit those, go ahead and just let me know. Leave us something in the comments. Leave me your questions, suggestions, requests down in the comments and I'll definitely make sure to take a look at those for any future video ideas. So thank you all so much for joining me today. 
Um, I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.